We have been working recently on memory resistors, which are known as memory resistors, which are very small devices which are able to memorize the voltages we applied to them in the past. Uh, they allow us to store a lot of information in a very small space and potentially we can put many, many, many of them in a very tiny space and store an awful lot of information. So there are two sources of increased density of storage in a memory store. The first one is its own dimensions. Today's transistor might be a one-tenth of a micron across. A memory store can be a further hundred times smaller, which allows the storing 10,000 times more information per unit area. Furthermore, a single transistor can store only one bit, when a memory store can store about five bits and maybe in the future even more. The way we program a memory store to remember a state is by applying small pulses on it. The more pulses we apply, the bigger or the smaller the resistance is going to be after the application of pulses. This is in many ways very similar to the way the human nervous system works. And for that reason, the most promising area of application is going to be very complex thinking circuits. Circuits which can mimic the way the brain works and therefore can make inferences and draw conclusions in a way that's very similar to the way brain works. Our ambition is to create a technology which is very economical in energy, which will be able to perform similar computational functions as extremely powerful parallel computers that we have today and do so in a very small chip with very, very little power.